With us now is Payne Capital President Ryan Payne. Ryan, it's good to see you. Welcome. Your first pick is letter F, that being Ford, which has been a bummer, to say the least, this year. Why are things going to turn now? What I love about this stock is it's like the cheap EV play, right? Tesla trades for 100 times Ford earnings, Scott, which is just absurd. Meanwhile, if you look at Ford specifically, they're breaking out their combustion engine uh, division, and they're going to break out their EV division. They're going to put like $50 billion into the EV division. They're going to have like producing somewhere like two uh, million EVs by like literally 2026. And I mean, how awesome is the new F-150 Lightning and that Mach, uh, Mustang Mach 4? And if you look at that Cybertruck from Tesla, it's just not that cool. I wouldn't want to use it. So at eight times forward earnings, you know, dirt cheap. It's a great play the way the EV space, and not on top of that, you're getting a, a nice dividend over two percent. So I oh think God, that I is definitely way to play. Got to buy it now and hope to wait till 2026 because they're barely producing anything right now. That's that's part of the issue. It's interesting that you're making it as a pure EV play. Uh, Kinder Morgan, commodities up, oils up. This plays into that story. I really like it because oil is extremely volatile, but the midstream space specifically, you know, you're just moving the natural gas and you're moving you know, oil, and essentially it's more of a volume play. And with Europe now looking away from Russia for their natural gas needs, you really have Kinder Morgan as a really well-positioned play for that. And we have energy pipelines in our portfolio, and they're returning so much money back to shareholders. They're getting a 6% dividend right now. They're paying down debt. So I think mm -hmm. they're well-positioned here because fossil fuels are not going away. Uh, EVs are going to be great in the future, but in the meantime, if you look okay. at oil demand, it's going to be high for the next uh, decade. Give me 15 seconds on Darden restaurants. Okay, we all love the Olive Garden. Uh, it's like 50% of the revenue. Love those unlimited breadsticks. And essentially, everyone's going to go out. They're going to want to go to restaurants. There's huge pent up demand for that. And they're very reasonably priced. You know, they own a lot of different restaurants, Red right. Lobster's in there, season 44. <laughs> Awesome place to be, and you know, the stock has gotten hit a little bit because their earnings didn't come in as good as expected because of Omicron.